These are two pound weights. We don't use more than two pounds, unless you're a pretty strong guy. If you're a big, strong guy, you could use like a four pound. But other than that, you're using a one or two pound weight or no weights. Okay, so the wall. You start by leaning against the wall as much as you can. When you're leaning on the wall, of course, everybody has a tushy, so you can't get your lower back there. So then you start to walk your feet away from the wall until you feel like you can get more of your lower back on. And some people will not be able to get their whole lower back on, and that's okay. You try hard by lifting your lower abdominals here. It's like your pelvic floor muscles. And you really lift them up into the wall. And you try to relax here. Now, you can take your head forward off the wall if you really feel like you can't get there. So you could be a little this way. It's totally fine. So the first thing we do is what we call the breathing. So you're going to breathe in and reach your arms forward and up. And then open your arms and breathe out. I'm going to get out of the way. And inhale. And use your stomach to lift your arms. And open and and you're moving your arms for a reason. So, you know, you're not going to go, oh, I'm just moving my arms. You're going to breathe in, and then you breathe out and reach through your arms as you exhale down. Good. And now Chrissy's going to reverse. Inhale out. You can do three to five cycles. Three cycles is good. And exhale down. Good. And each time, reach into the wall more. And two. And exhale down. Beautiful, Chrissy. And one more. And three. And exhale down. Very nice. And now you're going to stretch your back a little bit more. So let your head fall forward. And just let the weight of the head fall forward. And that will start to get your back closer onto the wall. And you can roll down until your arms reach like your kneecaps, your hands. So you just roll down so you're kind of at your kneecaps. And Chrissy's very tall, so she's very long. But you might be a little, you know, a little higher or lower. And just rest there. And what you want to do while you're resting here is pulling your lower abdominals in and trying to get your very lowest back into that wall. These arms have to be really, really, really soft, like little like ragdolls. Mm -hmm. And then you make little circles. One, two, and just let the arms stretch. Let the weights, let the weight of your hands, if you don't have weights, just stretch your back. Five circles, and then reverse. And one, let this totally relax. Two, let your head totally relax. Three, four, and five. Beautiful, and just hang out there. Now you're going to roll one vertebra at a time up the wall. And of course, there's going to be a part that wants to come all at the same time. It's totally fine. You just try. And each time you do it, you're going to get better. And you're going to do this every day. Separate your feet parallel and then walk them straight out a little bit further. Good, because you're going to do a squat. And when you do your squat, the alignment is very important. When, bring your feet just a slightly closer. You're pretty narrow. That's great. You're going to do a squat with your knee right over the center of your foot and squat down the wall. Now, sometimes you can raise your arms up. Sometimes the wall's a little sticky, like this wall. So if that happens, you know, you just have to work with it. And then pull in and come up. Good. And squat down. Usually I do this on a big mirror in my studio. and. It just doesn't look good in the video. Now hold it there. One, hold it two, hold it three. Find the bottom of your legs and pull yourself up the wall. Beautiful. One more time. You can do three to five. We're going to do three. And squat down. Knees right over the center of your feet. Look how great Chrissy's doing this. And you're going to hold it. She makes it look easy. This is not easy. Two, three. And you scoop in and come up, especially with the sticky wall. OK. And now you just bring your heels together. And you walk your feet back to the wall, and you're going to finish. You put your arms against the wall, and you're going to push off like a ski jumper. You know, at the, at the front of the uh, top of the ski jump, and you're going to, or a diver, and anchor your heels and lift your lower abdominals, and then let your hands come off. And you feel this beautiful posture. You're ready to go in your day. You're long and tall. You're just before you're going to push off. Take a minute, feel it, and then walk away. And you can do that at work, you can do it in a door jam, you can do it at home, anywhere you find anything, you can do it on a pole, anything. And you should do it every day, it'll really change your body.